So, survivors, thank you for still being here. Uh, the final, our final uh, moment uh, is to give you the state of the art and welcome the new members into the TCBL uh, community. Until recently, this was the classification, this was the organization of roles in the project. And in fact, in the first three years in the project, if you were here yesterday, you saw the maps growing. We were working very hard to build the community and increase these numbers. <clears throat> we reached, at the end of 2018, pretty much the critical mass we had initially were, were, were looking for of about 50 labs and of about 250 uh, businesses. And in the last year, we have not been focusing on making that grow still, continuing, continuing that, uh, but focusing more on consolidating the roles, getting feedback from people of what they want to see us do in the coming years. So we've basically been building the foundations for the TCBL Foundation, which we've been talking about, which is, this is what is going to mean that we will have a conference next year, that we will hopefully have new associates next year, that we will have new labs next year, and that those of you who have just joined the community will find out whether it's all talk or whether we can actually do concrete things together. But despite the fact and this, so that is, this is the map as it currently stands. And we have worked very much on, I'm not going to explain this to you, but the core idea of the foundation is that we share the same values, is that we share those seven principles. And what one of the main things we have developed in the last year is the idea of a protocol where we can systematically, and this is a peer-based system, uh, some of you who may be aware of how things work in uh, organic farming around the world or in uh, fair, the fair, World Fair Trade Organization has a similar type of system where between us members of the community with different levels of responsibility, we just keep an eye on people. Are they involved? Are they still behaving the way they promised they would behave? Is this a community that we can where we can continue to trust each other because until now, until three, in the last three years, we haven't had this problem. But if this becomes the kind of label that people want to have, we need to make sure that everyone in the list is on spot and on quality because otherwise we are degrading the value of, of the label that each of, one of us would like to have. So it's very important that we have a system to check up on people. If somebody, we haven't seen much of somebody recently, we can do uh, a checkup on their status. Are they still interested? Do they want to participate? Our main criteria is beyond the seven principles is engagement with the community. Do people want to interact with each other? Do they want to interact with the labs? Do they want to develop innovative ideas, concepts, and business models? Otherwise, we don't really see why you're interested in being part of this community. So this is something that we've uh, worked on, developed. There's a slightly different protocol for the labs. The two main categories of people who belong to this community uh, are the labs and the associates. So the associate enterprises, we could say. So the new, <coughs> we have eight new business labs who have joined following the protocol. We used to call them open calls. The, the protocol I was showing you is pretty much the way we've already been doing things, which means that the labs are peer reviewed by a couple of other labs and so on and so forth. So we've had eight new labs and then eight labs that actually were part of the Creative Wear project, the people that put up the exhibit out there, which was very similar to the, uh, and sort of an offshoot of TCBL, have been incorporated into the TCBL network. And as far as the associate enterprises are concerned, seven enterprises have joined up following the TCBL protocol, and another 15 are the those who followed the startups program, and we just basically merged those two classes of, uh, of participants. 
So the total we have is now 51 labs. Actually, I think Ista was showing me some new labs have signed up in the meantime, but this is where we were yesterday, and, uh, and also the associate enterprises. You know who you are, and you know what it is like, because you went through the self-assessment questionnaire on the Taylor platform. That questionnaire was examined by other people in the TCBL network, and, and we decided that either your self-assessment immediately gave you an above level um, uh, evaluation, or even if you were below level evaluation, between peers knowing you and between the, the quality of your application, we saw that there was sufficient room for improvement <clears throat> for you to be considered part of the community. That's the way it, had his wor it has been working ever more so until now, and that is the way it will work in the future. These are the new business labs, the ones that have signed up and followed the, the um, procedure, Esne Fab Lab in Madrid, Fab Lab Leon, Homemakers in Paris, iTeam Digitalization and Factory 4.0 Laboratory Timisoara. We tried to get them here, but they will catch up with them somehow. The Performance Augmentation Lab, sorry for the misspelling, in Oxford was, is actually um, a project partner in uh, TCBL doing the work with um, augmented reality. Uh, so they will continue to col collaborate in that fashion. This, you may recognize the next name of the lab because that was Dieter, who's sitting over there pretending to be Thomas. Uh, the Soyuz Co. JY3 in Skopje. And the Sustainable Fashion Design Lab in Yashi. So these are the new labs, and these are the labs from Creativeware, including Estia, who have uh, made the presentation. I don't think anyone else there was participating in JAM. And then the new associates, and these are the people who, notwithstanding our, the, the fact that we really did not make an effort, heard about TCBL, and have signed up to us, so hats off in particular. We didn't come looking for you. You came looking for us, pretty much. The Atelier Visconti in Paris, Flavia Pinello, um, Luca presented that, Milan avant uh, presented, Molo Tutto, Skyu Design Lab in Yashi, I don't know if they are here, uh, Size is presented, and Sondes Lu Luati Jaraya in Paris. Uh, Oh, that was Alexandra, right? Oh, okay, good. So, uh, a lot, a lot of the new associates were, were presented themselves in Jam, and these are the people from the startups from 2017. They had, they had followed the the whole procedure, but were never given the uh, classification as associates. So that's our internal business. So, with the TCBL Foundation. Uh, the foundation is being set up. You have to have a, uh, people who will launch the foundation. So the foundation has what are called founding members, the first founding members. And uh, those are people who are coming from the partnership uh, and have worked uh, very intimately with TCBL. It, it will be the foundation members who will be putting up the initial capital, who will be uh, making sure the thing keeps going, for the large part offering their, their, their time to the foundation, uh, and uh, above all, managing and coordinating the uh, label awarding process. Uh, as I said yesterday, the foundation will have four main activities. One is managing the label, the TCBL label, which also means people coming in and maybe some people leaving the network. Uh, number two is keeping the website alive and the communication in general, the publications, guidebooks, and so on and so forth. That has to happen, at least at a minimum level. And that is basically the main cost of the foundation. Number three, this conference. Uh, you guys are still here. I think that's evidence of the fact that this conference is essential to TCBL. It's essential that we 
interact with each other, see what other people are doing and get to know each other. And it's essential that this conference go to different places because every place we've been to with this conference, we've discovered a reality that most of us never knew existed. And we discovered the energies in a territory and we've discovered how much that territory can give to us. So the, the conference is going to and has to continue. And finally, innovation projects like the kind of projects we saw yesterday and there the strategy that we have defined is instead of, we do not want to be a, a rich foundation with lots of money, getting money from Procter and Gamble like some people I know, or things like that to be sustainable. We want to be as light a foundation as possible, but there are people out there that have money and are trying to find good projects to fund, that are trying to find good initiatives to fund, and really, the only way they can do that is to sort of launch open calls or launch competitions. They don't have a network they can work with to develop the problem, to develop real solutions to the kind of things they're looking for, to put together some pieces if they need to. So we have already been discussing, like with Sourcebook, like with Make Sense we have done in Paris, uh, like also with many, um, you know that the European Union now has cascade funding, which means they, they, give, they make big projects that give out lots of little things for 10 or 20,000 euro, with which you can do a feasibility study, get something concrete to show people, and then go for significant funding. And we are collaborating with already with the Worth Project, and there are some others in the pipeline. Lutz mentioned his yesterday. Um, so we are going to collaborate with these people and co-brand initiatives to help them find the right kind of projects that they're looking for because if they have the money and they want to give it away, it's because they need solutions to problems that they're posing. And we think we can help them do that more effectively than the current way. So that's going to be probably the most, one of the most visible uh, returns to those of you who decide to stay with us because... Uh, this is the launch committee. These are the people who have signed up. I won't go through all of the names. Uh, Prato Reginova, uh, Textile Center, Mirtek Vag, Consortia Arc, TC, HCIA, Tavistock Institute, and Guy was telling me that perhaps also Centex Bell will be in the launch committee. These are not necessarily people who will be pulling out the money. By the way, the, all of these people are going to, in our current thinking, um, put on the table 5,000 euro. It's a one-time thing. Um, and to, to build the starting capital for this foundation. And then we have um, uh, subcontractors or consultants who have not been project partners in the official European consortium, but who have been essential in building the network and uh, its activities. Florida, we're doing the communication. Frederic, what happened there? Ah. The list goes on. Paolo Bergman is our lawyer. He wanted to join. Anik Jeanne, uh, she does uh, TCBL like initiatives. Uh, Petra and Lenka, you've seen. Alize Lokmer and Make Sense in Paris. Thanos, you've known, and me in the end. So we are going to we are going to make this foundation happen. Whether it floats or not depends on you, because we need. As light as we can get, we need a minimum amount of money, and for that we have thought of the following uh, schema, more or less, that TCBL Labs, again, for both labs and associates, it will be an open process. People will be able to sign up whenever they want, follow the protocol and the procedure, and will stay with us so long as the protocol uh, can confirm that you're still with us, in fact. The labs will be asked to pay a yearly fee of 25 euro. We think that that is more or less what is the cost of having them pay us 25 euro. And why are we doing that? Why are we going through that effort? Because I've been in many networks where participation is free, and after five years, you don't know who is still around and who is not, who is still alive and who is dead. And even for many organizations, like a university, to get five, 25 euro means you have to go to the board and get approval for 25 euro because we want to see commitment, okay? 
So that is going to be for the labs. They are in practically for free because it is the labs who are generating the innovation that is benefiting everybody. And it is the labs who will be delivering the core services to the associates. The associates will be asked to pay a yearly fee of 250 euro. And we think that is, when you consider that a normal certification that some big brand who is uh, buying uh, textiles from you cost about 5,000 euro for an audit included. Um, 250 euro is not much, but it's a lot for the uh, smaller companies, the startups, the more innovative people who we think are essential to the vitality of the network. So. We have introduced the category of startups. That's different from the startups that followed the startup program. But a startup is technically a company with less than five years. That's a lot of you. And for startups, we are asking 150 euro a year. And, and from the people we've spoken to, we think that that is uh, doable by most all of the startups that the, the, the associates that we would be looking at that are um, five years or less in operations. That's the only diversification we're making. We are not making diversification by size of the company or by turnover or by any of these factors because we have tried to never take these into account um, because the real value added cannot be counted. Anyway, you're not going to get your invoice immediately because this foundation is not going to be set up immediately as of the launch committee exists formally. The launch committee will uh, make itself exist formally tomorrow afternoon, but it does already exist formally because the lawyer says it exists formally. The launch committee will be pooling the money for until we can go to the lawyer. One of the main reasons we have not already gone to the, it's called notaio in, in Italian, uh, the, the, wherever you go and actually do the stuff, you know, sign it and become official and legal, is that we care a lot about the city of Prato because the city of Prato had the courage to lead this project. The city of Prato has led us. I've been working for the city of Prato in this project and we think it's important for their role in the industry also that they be members of the foundation. They're not getting any special treatment but we want them to be part of us and so we have to a little bit wait until the ripples following the elections only a couple of days ago settle in the water before we can get the foundation through the city council and so on and so forth if all goes well. All could not go well but our plan B is Thank you very much, City of Prato. We'll see you the next foundation we want to set up. So anyway, it is likely that the foundation will be set up within the year, for sure. When the foundation is there, sooner or later, sooner or later beyond the survey, which Nikki kept talking about, which is your opportunity to give us our final getting it right in terms of the service offer and so on and so forth. Sooner or later, you'll be getting an email saying, do you want to stay with us? If so, here's your invoice. And if not, thank you very much and goodbye. But if you want to stay with us, you also have to sign up to the protocol, continuing to adhere to the TCBL principles for the rest of your lives, or at least until we throw you out. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And we're actually going to do it, or it looks like that. So that's a special welcome to the new associates because maybe you have no idea what you're getting into. So uh, the, the, the old ones sort of have an idea because, but until now we've been all doing all of this with money from the commission. And the difference between working with money from the commission and working for the real world is enormous. And we hope, we hope that when this project and the funding of this project is finally over, we can start to do things in a freer way, in a more direct way, and in a way that's even more responsive to the people who are part of this community. But in the meantime, all we can do is thank you because we have, ha we have to do this project because we signed a contract. Almost all of you in here and almost all of those 300 people who have signed up to us didn't have to. You've done it because you've believed in it, we believe in it, but you've believed in it more than us, and we thank you for that. And all I can say is, 
Our experience in Yashi has been fantastic, yet further proof of the TCBL concept that you need to go to places. You need to go to territories and discover what maybe you could, maybe you suspected, but you had no idea was there. And as we continue the TCBL conference, somebody else is going to have to go through what Gabriella has gone through for the last six months. Somebody else is going to design a fantastic totem that reflects their territory and their creativity, but somebody else is going to welcome us. So thanks to the team at Radio Nova more than anything else. And everybody back there. All right, final point. Where are we going to be next year? We don't know. But there's a lot of competition, if you can believe it or not, for people who want to go through what Gabriella has just gone through. Uh, Barcelona is an option. It was the first option we fielded, and I confirmed with Anastasia that, that that's quite possible. Uh, Ghent was an option. They offered us their cultural center for free. Uh, and there's a, there's a great uh, ecosystem of uh, the TNC industry there. Lille, is, that's Anique Jean and her uh, Fashion Green Days, the hypothesis of merging that with TCBL for one year. And Hasselt, there's a woman around here who's been looking for me the last four days that I haven't seen yet. But anyway, they are very interested in hosting us, so we'll just have to figure out what we'll be. We'll let you know. But it will certainly happen. Thank you. Thank you.